Hello Virgo, welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what is it that's manifesting for you all at the time you're watching this reading. Any messages, advice, who or what is showing up around you? What you need to know, always take what resonates and leave out what doesn't. If it does resonate, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal read done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below. Okay, let's take a look for you, Virgo. I don't know why, I'm feeling very giddy. Some of you are... I just see someone like laughing, but not just like a regular laugh. It's one of those like deep belly laughs where it's like you laugh so hard, your belly hurts. And I think we need more of that. <laughs> I think maybe some of you are needing a little bit more humor, a little bit more laughter in your life. Um, Page of Wands. So this is actually somebody coming into your life or showing up in your life who is... Um, like just a ball of light, ball of energy. And it definitely feels like somebody is putting a big smile on your face, making you laugh, like a deep belly laugh. Maybe some of you are going to a comedy show or something, um, or something happens where you're just like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow myself to enjoy this moment. And maybe even laugh at myself, right? And because I feel like something has been kind of serious or you've been in this very serious energy. With this death, this, it feels like something something is now behind you that has ended. But Ace of Swords, this is a new beginning. This is clarity after the transformation. Um, this is answers coming through or clarity as to why something had to end okay why death what is it that is ending what is it that's ending here okay that's too much let me take this one that came out okay page of swords three of cups so some people have been taken out of your life here some people have been removed is what i'm hearing um but not in a way that feels up uh, not in a way where i see you maybe not really feeling that upset over this this feels like um kind of refreshing is what i'm hearing refreshing that there's people that you no longer have to kind of have in your in your energy people who you didn't really care for too much um but things are kind of closing up something's coming full circle especially with this world here it says a very happy ending so a situation is coming full circle and it just feels like a weight kind of lifted off your shoulder um, a happy ending to a situation that has been a long time coming okay tell me about this world and we have the six of the six of michael so this is six of swords in this deck but you're really moving forward and moving out of any turbulence into a place of calm, a place of relaxation and peace. Um, I'm, I'm seeing some of you traveling. It feels like you may be traveling internationally. You're no longer allowing yourself to stay in just one place or one situation, but you're just really allowing yourself to travel freely. I'm also hearing the truth will set you free. So... The truth will set you free. And when it comes to the truth, this is you seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing things from a perspective where you have receipts, you have reality to a situation. Um, and you are being set free because now that you have the truth to a situation, you no longer have to uh, hold on to a lie or you no longer have to hold on to something that is um, hindering you or, or keeping you from a transformation within yourself here and you're finding a new idea what's this new idea okay seven of wands seven of pentacles okay so the way that i'm seeing this is like some you're not attached anymore 
to something that you put a lot of time and energy, maybe investment. And it's very easy to get attached to things that we we put so much time into or money or emotions. Um, and we just want it to work so hard. Uh, but with this new clarity or this new idea, you're seeing, okay, this is not working out. And I'm not going to stay attached to it by trying to make it work. That's just insanity, right? And it's not you giving up. It's you evolving. So this, this is not a failure. This is an evolution for you because you're not attached to it anymore. Some, pe might, some people might be attached to things that they put a lot of hard work and energy into. Um, but if, you're, if something's just not working, it's just not working right? And the truth sets you free. The truth um, brings you out of situations where um, you have maybe been attached to at some point and now a new positive emotional experience can develop. I'm seeing fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. So for some of you, this there's a now a new emotional experiences where you're opening up your heart to new people, new relationships, romantic, platonic, 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 okay? You are open to it now. You're no longer attached to a person or a situation in the past. Okay. Accepting what is. Accepting what is uh, without the... Without too much emotion over this. Because I see some of you are not... This is, this feels like it, you're just at peace. Yeah, that's the way I can say it. It's not really that you're so sad. It's just the fact that you're just at peace with accepting the way that things are and not making it um, bigger than what it needs to be. Ten of Cups, yeah. This is you actually having clarity. Like, now that I'm not attached to this, I can actually go find my Ten of Cups. I can actually have my happy ever after. I can have my happily ever after um, even now if I choose to be happy. Because happiness is a choice. And moving forward, now gaining control over your life, being back on track, overcoming an obstacle, and being successful at it because you no longer have that um, attached approach to things. You are now detached to any sort of outcome, detached from any um, ideas on what something should look like or what something should be. Just allowing things to unfold is bringing you the, happy, the happiness that you could have even ever asked for. Why the Page of Wands? I'm seeing someone coming through with a lot of... I'm hearing this is someone who's very chatty. I didn't get that. Could you try again? You guys, did you just hear that? That's crazy because my phone is on silent. <laughs> it's on silent, but it just talked. It just talked. You heard that. I don't understand. This has kind of, kind of been happening recently. If you know what's happening, let me know because I have no idea. I haven't even touched it. Like, you can see my hands. <laughs> but, yeah, you have somebody who's coming through with communication, flirty communication. That's why the Page of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Seven of Swords, the Hermit. Nine of Cups reverse. So maybe this is just somebody who you're just meant to kind of have some flirtatious communication with or just have fun with and then that's it. Um, because this is somebody who is uh, pretty much just wanting to have their own needs met in a situation. So they are coming through with plans that feel a little bit strategic on maybe this is someone who just wants uh, um, sex or they just want int intimacy with you or something. They just want to have a good time. Not a, They don't, they don't want to be here for a long time, just a short time or a good time. And maybe that's all that this can be. Maybe it can be more. But from what I'm seeing, I feel like this person's just coming in as like a confidence booth or someone who want to make you laugh. Very chatty type of person. Okay. Or maybe this is a person you're now leaving behind. Why the sun? Tell me about the sun. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, you have success coming through. 
yeah you have a new opportunity here um to make some money to make some um another another source of income in your life I'm seeing growth, the beginning of something growing, the beginning of, of a new opportunity that is leading you to a breakthrough, an idea that leads you to a reward with this Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. You have some sort of like reward coming through from an idea that you have in this like unattached approach that you take to situations here. Um, I do feel like you are going to have uh two people actually who are making you an offer someone who is serious on a commitment and then somebody who is maybe just wanting something surface level here okay if you have someone in mind think of them let's take a look and see how they feel about you about this situation with you for the rest of the month okay the person on your mind we have the full reversed, eight of wands, ace of cups, the devil is how they see you. You are a temptation to this person and they're starting to feel things in a new way. This could be somebody new. We have the fool, we have the ace of cups. So somebody, somebody who you meet who is um, very quickly falling in love with you or somebody who you've met recently who feels pretty recent or new in your life is falling in love with you very very fast very fast uh, accidentally <laughs> oh accidentally this person is feeling a little bit foolish though they're feeling foolish for the fact that they are catching feelings so quickly for you they didn't even see this coming. <laughs> they're seeing you as the as a devil here. So they're seeing you as a temptation. Okay, why are they seeing you as a devil? Hmm. Why are they seeing you as a devil, Virgo? Emperor. Control. Okay. Huh. You like to have control or they feel like you have a lot of control or power. They see you as somebody who has a strong or intense amount of power over them and their emotions. You're looking, you're looking dangerously good. Dangerously good, Virgo. I would say this person has even like fallen in lust with you, but we do have the Ace of Cups. So there is emotion there. They're opening up their heart to you. So they're offering you um, a relationship or they're expressing to you how they feel very early on, very quickly. I think this person does have intentions of trying to slow something down here, though. Eight of Wands reversed. Why the Eight of Wands reversed? They're getting nervous. The higher fame. Yeah, they want to take a more traditional approach here. So they're not wanting put wanting to put too much on this situation. They they want to they maybe want to slow things down just a little bit, but they've already they've already fallen. I'm hearing head over heels very quickly. Very whatever you did, <laughs> it happened very fast. Um, if this is not like a romantic thing, and this is a, maybe a friendship, this is somebody who has just um fallen in deep deep like for you and yeah they really they really enjoy you they really like you as a person and they want to have they want to nurture this relationship whether it's a friendship level or a romantic level that that's what they want and it feels new it feels new yeah you have a, a new emotional experience now and I think maybe the approach is to kind of take a more unattached approach to things at this moment. Um, things are happening for a reason, though, so that new people can actually enter into your life here. Uh, new opportunities can enter. So everything that had ended or has come full circle is actually making space for a lot more happiness, a lot more abundance, a lot more success, better things. I'm seeing the numbers 13, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11. 19, 10, 5, 7, 
21. Those numbers could be synchronicity, special days. I'm seeing letters W, G, B, H, P, E. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, Virgo. And I hope you have an amazing, beautiful rest of your day. Bye.